Howdy partnoids, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Here we are then, the old uh, 4x4 door that I said I'd show you guys. Um, yeah, definitely one of the more complicated circuits I've done. Uh, but, do it in stages as per usual and um, I'll do a little bit at the end for anyone that's interested on the kind of logic behind how it works. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is lay out the pistons. Um, and you start by building up three like that. And then you're going to have four sticky pistons there. So as a note, you're going to want to dig down four uh, blocks because your floor level is here. So you have to dig that to three four so yeah you have to dig down four to install this uh, flush with the ground uh, before you start so I'm going to build it above ground because it's easier so you're going to start with four sticky pistons like that and then uh, two blocks of obsidian at either end uh, and it's important that it's obsidian because it just kind of stops any errors that might occur um, because I found that these pistons and the ones opposite uh, we're working a bit like a T flip flop and kind of screwing each other up. So yeah, definitely obsidian there. So you've got that. And then you're going to build it a diagonal here. Two out. So you can put your set of four like that there. And then exactly the same on this side. Like that. And these are what we use obviously to retrieve those four center blocks to this side, to that side. And then, yeah, we're just going to mirror this. Uh, at the top so you build up two there and then one sticky piston facing down like that with obsidian above it and then four sticky pistons coming out like that obsidian on the end another sticky piston so you've got a kind of mirror image um, symmetrical styly circuit like that um, so that's that and now we'll do the red circuit Okay, um, so the red circuit, we start from uh, either corner, you could start from this side, but uh, we'll start on the left for this one. So from this piston here, you just want to measure down so that you're directly below it and then build a cross out like that and cut the middle out there and a bit of redstone in there. So that's the start and then this is your input here so this block uh, is your input and it needs to be powered by a repeater so for your buttons or whatever you're going to have later on uh, to operate the system so you start with that and then you're going to have two repeaters like that there that one's on two ticks of delay this one redstone dust then sticky piston facing out like that and a block in front of that then repeater there, block, and then redstone dust on the side. So what this is here is essentially a pulse limiter, uh, which we use firstly to make a T flip flop. So from this redstone dust, you're gonna have a sticky piston like that with a block in front of it, and then a hole in the ground with a torch in there like that. So now if I press this button down here, you see that this spat the block out and now it's over that um, torch which is going to be powering this redstone so you have two bits of redstone there a repeater like that on full delay then a block and then you've got one repeater coming out like that and that's got just one tick normal so you can leave that so that's the red circuit done um, and this is basically the input circuit for the whole thing so it just gives you timings for um, the green and the blue circuit and the pink circuit basically so we'll do the blue circuit now so the first thing you're going to want to do is put a blue block on the side of these obsidian ones and then you're going to link them up a little bit like that with repeaters going into each of these blocks here and they're going to be on full delay like that and they'll also be connected up there then to get power up to this you're going to come to the side of this repeater, just put two blocks down there like that. Repeater on top on full delay, 
and then redstone dust there. And you're going to lead it from this uh, red block here. So you've got that. Then it's kind of just a case of it being symmetrical on both sides, sort of. So you start with a block there and then a gap here and a block like that. So this repeat goes into that block and then there's a gap here in one. Then we're going to connect both of them up like that and then put repeaters facing outwards on both sides there and they're on three delay and then yeah like I say this bit you can kind of copy to the other side so you start with a gap a block and then one at a diagonal and then you just run redstone dust all the way up to the top like that two blocks there repeaters coming away from this block so facing out that way two of them one on four delay one on three ticks uh, and then we'll do that this side so gap block diagonal redstone all the way out to the top two blocks there repeater repeater again facing into the middle that's on four delay that's on three delay like that and then we've got to add the final part of the blue circuit which is a block in front of these repeaters so these have obviously got to be able to power something so it's that block there and then you're going to have a torch on either one like that above these blocks here then once you've done that block above that block above that torch on the side so I'll just build this one up and then above that torch whatever your floor is made out of that's what you're going to have then fill that gap in and then one out like that and an L shape around there so it's a little bit convoluted but yeah like I say this is a little bit more complicated circuit so you've got that so I build it on this side as well so you've got your torch here block above torch on the side and then above that torch you've got the flooring fill in that gap and come out one and then redstone dust there so that's the stuff on the floor for the blue circuit and then we've just got to do this up the top so you come to your pistons on the side your set of four and you build on top of those out three and then on the opposite side of the blue circuit so this side you come out three as well and then four repeaters like that this one is on four ticks that one's on three ticks and then this one here is on two ticks and that's all you need and then you do exactly the same on this side so three out three out four repeaters like that that one's on four ticks that's on three that's on two and then you connect them up like that so they're, they're kind of integrated into the green circuit which is what we're going to build now um, but they are to do with closing because it they operate this piston here which is to do with the closing mechanism and the opening but you know um, cool okay green circuit so this is the opening mechanism sort of loosely uh, obviously there are other parts involved but for the main part that's what this circuit does so we're going to start up here on the side of these top ones three out like that and then a gap and then three again and then a gap and three again like that so you've got that sort of thing going on and then all of these are going to have torches apart from that top one so you've got six torches there this might happen but just reset that so you've got that and then this torch here is going to need to power this redstone so make sure you link that up then we've got a block on the side of that there and a block at the diagonal of that so that sort of shape and then you have a repeater in here on full delay then you come down here two out one up like that and that's just to make sure that you cut this redstone off you could leave that gap there but you need to cut that off and then one repeater in there like that single tick of delay so you can just leave that alone and then a torch there like that so that's that side and then on this side you come to the second torch off which will be uh, up which will be off rather build that out and then two repeaters in there uh, no delay on those so you can leave them 
And then I would suggest doing the same thing on this side. So let's go through it again. Three out like that. Three out like that. Three out like that. Torches. Hate that. <laughs> um, torches like that. And then on this side, two blocks out with two repeaters, one tick of delay. And then on this side, mirror image again, so two at a diagonal, repeater, four delay, and then down here, three blocks there in L shape, and one repeater in like that, with a torch in that gap. So you've got a mirror image on both sides there. Oh, and don't forget to connect that up at the top. So you've got that, now you just need to get power from the floor here uh, into it, so out of our red circuit. So the first thing you're going to do is two blocks there, and they're going to have two repeaters like that, and that one is on three delay, like that. And this one here is going to be on full delay, four ticks, and you can link them up. So it's a little bit convoluted, like I say, but uh, hopefully you guys should be able to follow it. Then from this block that I'm standing on here, you're going to build out repeaters and then you stop at the side of this piston and you put a block in front of that. And then the delay is full, full, full and full there. So four of those repeaters are on four ticks of delay and then you can just leave these two and you're going to put a torch at the end like that bring redstone dust all the way there apart from this last one that's going to go into a block two blocks like that torch on top of that one and a repeater there like that and the repeater is going to power a block that's got redstone dust on top so when this goes off it's going to power this redstone dust which will control this torch but it'll also power this redstone dust which is going to power the rest of the system so that happens like this You've got this repeater here that I'm standing on again. That's going to go into a block there. And then you can build out three. So it'll go one, two, three with the obsidian in the middle there. And then you can cover up this redstone like that. So you've got three out and then two down with this here. Three bits of redstone dust there. And then two repeaters going into these torches. So it's a bit like that. So yeah, it's... um fairly complicated looking but uh, I assure you it works so we do exactly the same on this side we just get power there slightly differently so block above that torch torch there and then two blocks like that repeater there no delay block like that with the redstone on top of it again and then we've got the same idea this side. So you're going to come out three. So this is off the blue circuit. So it should be three, 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 and then three at the bottom. That one's on three delay again as well. Dust there, which is obviously going to pick up power from this repeater. Block. Repeater there on full delay. And then before you put the block that it's going to go into, you need to put a repeater there and put that on full delay which is going to be the power to the pink circuit later on so um, yeah we'll leave that for then so that's just a note there so back to this repeater that I'm standing on block in front of that and then exactly the same as we had on the other side three out two down like that and then redstone and dust uh, repeaters into these two torches and they have no delay on them so I believe that is it now the important thing is to make sure that this these repeaters all go into your wall block and that one as well and it's the same for the ones above it so these have to go in there and they have to go in there so this is going to kind of be the frame anyway for the system but we'll get to that later so that's just a note uh, for you guys. Now, 
that's the green circuit done, I believe. And obviously, it could, you know, be fairly hard to follow. So obviously, I will include the world save for you guys uh, to check that out. Um, if you feel that will kind of aid you a little bit. Now, all we've got to do is add the pink circuit and we're done. But we'll just give it a little test. Hopefully, uh, we should be operational. So as we're in the off position you want to fill in four there this is our actual door blocks now four there like that four there like that so that's the open position and then hopefully we press this button there she goes so that's the middle part now the pink part controls these bottom and top uh, sets of four so let's just make sure it opens there she goes so we just got to do the pink circuit now Right, so um, you guys probably remember that I said that this repeater here was going to be the output for the pink circuit. So you're going to put a block in front of that with a torch on the side and then a block above that and a torch there. And this is going to give us our power source to power those four pistons. So you're going to put four blocks in front of them, four blocks at a diagonal to that. And then just link it all up there. So you've got that sort of thing. And then redstone dust off there. And four repeaters like that. And they're all on full delay. Four ticks. So that's that. And then you're just taking the same idea and trying to get it up here. So we use a torch tower. So whatever your floor is made out of, above this torch. Torch on the side of that. Pink block. And then... You want to bring it across to the left again just to make sure that the number of torches is right block above that torch block torch block and then you're just trying to get power into those pistons basically so like that now you could make this lower actually um, and kind of build this all out and stuff like that but I'm not that bothered so this is the design I'm using at the moment so that's that and then all you've got to do is give it a test basically so hopefully it should work now there she is so like I say I'm going to do a little explanation now for anyone that's interested but um, if you're not then I'm sure you've uh, got what you needed or if you didn't quite understand uh, some bits in that like I say um, world save will be in the description uh, on YouTube so um, cool I'll do a little bit of explaining I'll try and explain it as best as I can uh, at least the thought process it obviously not block for block but um, yeah the, the kind of main the main difficulty I think really was is the double piston extender um, which is this green circuit here which was yeah by far the kind of most annoying part to integrate into the system and then make sure that you know for example when this is closed that these two pistons were extended and they've got to come in down and then out and in so the reason for example that this gets pulled in down and then the double piston comes out and to get that timing is why we have this long line of repeaters here that come all the way around and uh power this repeater because if you power this block here and this at the same time you get all three of the uh, torches lit up and that's what fires the double piston extender whereas as you can see here on this side the blue side which is off because it's closed this only powers this one torch uh, which comes up here which is again part of the blue circuit which gives us our reset so that was that was the main difficulty. I mean, the pink circuit self-explanatory. So, um, that's that. And then obviously you've got to use your one-tick pulse, which is coming from this block and this um, pulse limiter here. And the only reason you need that is to spit these two blocks out, and then for the sticky pistons here to come back in and leave them out here. So. Um, if I put a bit of delay on this, you guys can probably see that. So that's the principle. I mean, this isn't a new circuit in that sense. It's just small, basically. 
So you can see that these get um, spat out by these and then this gets pushed up and out. And then because there's a T flip-flop down here, we're now powering the blue circuit on, which keeps these two pistons pulled out, ready to um, bring the door back in when we turn it off. So it turns off and then it gets pulsed on by the button. So it's important that you guys use a button for this. Um, by the way, you can't use a lever unless you put it through a pulse limiter, but that would be pointless. So it is button only. Um, and the reason we use a button is because it will travel down these repeaters here and then it will turn the double piston extender on and then off and that's why we get the retrieve and in basically so um yeah that, that's obviously a very brief explanation of how it works but um i would probably be here for quite a lot longer if i did it uh piece by piece so yeah hopefully that sorts you guys out and um yeah cheers for watching <laughs>